You are most welcome to today's podcast brought to you by Anywa Galway and Flirt FM, where we are talking all things festival. Today with me in studio, I have John Crumlish, the CEO of the festival. Uh, I have Dr. Charlotte MacGyver, the head of drama and theatre studies here in Anywa Galway, and Professor Andy Shearer of the School of Physics and co-curator of the Making Space exhibition. Music, we're going from trad to trance. We're going from Earlow Leonard to Orbital. Um, Theatre, indoor and outdoor. Um, Then we have visual arts uh, across a number of art forms. And with Andy here as well, we're entering a new area, a new art form of astronomy, which is a first for us. Fantastic. Uh, And then we have our First Thought Talks. We have 21 First Thought Talks with over 50 speakers. Um, So there's something there for everybody. The Making Space exhibition is is a kind of unique collaboration for Galway, where we have four astronomers um, from NUI Galway who are working with four artists. Um, We put out a a call for basically a competition, Mm -hmm. and we had a pretty good response. We had about 30 responses, and we whittled it down to 10, and then we whittled it down to 6, and then 4. So they've been working for the last two to three months with astronomers, including myself, looking at different ways to explore and communicate astronomy to a different audience. So there are three major strands to the way that we have been interacting with the Galway International Arts Festival as education partners. First of all, myself and other academic staff are actually moderating the post-show talkbacks with a range of companies across the festival, which is a brilliant opportunity to get to often be one of the first people to engage publicly with new work, as has happened in previous years, or engage with brilliant international theatre and arts companies who've come to Ireland. Last year, we also recorded those talkbacks and were able to then feed them back into our teaching during the academic year, which was really wonderful in terms of extending that that life of the festival throughout the year. We also have the selected program that we run in partnership with the International Arts Festival, where a group of about 12 to 15 students are selected every year and get to undergo um, behind the scenes workshops, talks, encounters with the artists in the festival.